All right, get in there, Nick. Move yourself over a little bit. All right. Make yourself known. All right. So it turns out that was it. That one mile run was the, the last one. And we decided to come downstairs, which is just a little bit more quiet. We're first going to recap these numbers because I was going to quickly hop in a shower here, then I have to go get all my blood work done and all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to quickly go over these numbers one more time. And then, oh, can't even talk. Fuck this. <laughs> my away. turn. All right, so from the top, height 176 centimeters, weight 77.65 kgs. That's height to weight ratio 25.06. All right, neck 37 centimeters, shoulders 113, chest 100, waist 80 centimeters, hips 90.5, left thigh 57, right thigh 57.75. Left upper arm, 37. Right upper arm, 37.5. Got a little bit of a trend on the right side yeah, there. Yeah, I know. It's not good. I feel myself leaning on it too with the bench press and the squat. Yeah. It's a little bit to work on. Uh, body fat percentage measured on the scale was 18.9. Fuck that. Still in a good range. A <laughs> uh, little rough math on my end here. Fat mass looking about 15 kgs yeah. out of total body weight. Sounds about right. Uh, lean body mass, 62.94 kgs. That makes up the difference. Biological age, 40. 40, yeah. Nah. Metabolic age, 35 though. So yeah. inside, you're feeling good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, not bad. I'll do the plus minus. Yeah. Uh, so basal metabolic rate was 1,730 calories per day. And now moving on to the athletic side of it. So plank time, 356.02. When you're going for five minutes, that's an eternity. Uh, wall squat time, that's 328.55. Yeah. Again, going for five. Yeah. yeah. On the battle ropes, 545.08. And I think there was some there yeah, was there's extra left, left in there, right? There was juice left. I probably could have gone for 10 minutes, but I got to say to Nick, I just, after like five minutes came, I just got bored. Like my motivation just went whoo, right down. Too locked into the time frame. So I was like five minutes. That was a coast, easy breezy, but like I said, once I got there, so I didn't even care anymore. Yeah. So then we came into the reps for two minutes. Uh, 170 on the bench press, we got 20 reps. 170 on barbell back squat, got 24. On the neutral chin ups, we got 28 reps. And on deadlifts, another 28. Solid effort. Not bad. It's pretty okay. good. Nice volume of weight though, reps weren't that high, but again, as long as you can move your body weight efficiently, you know, that's what I mean. When I, people say, talk about like strength, I say like strength is all relative. You know, if you can move your body efficiently, that's the key, right? Absolutely. And we wrapped up with a one minute, one mile run time, and that was 921.68. So I rounded yeah. down from the nice 922. Oh, sh shave, shave, yeah. a, shave a third of a second off for you. I like that. Right? I like that. Right? That's the Italian in them right there. <laughs> Uh, so we had a, a little chat before we started the testing. So some comments and notes on the prep for this uh, fit test today. Uh, six hours of sleep from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, triple long pour espresso at 5.30 a.m. You know, That's right. Got to get riled up for the seven rounds of squash that he played. Yeah. Uh, one 8,500 milligram ginseng at 6.30. Uh, 6.30 to 7.30, so only in an hour. That was seven games of squash played. And all those matches were like like 12, 10, 11, 9, like you know, like that seven games played probably like nine games and stuff. So and it was uh it was intense, brutal, absolutely brutal. Yeah, and last note here was that this was fasted. Minus the coffee and the ginseng, fasted for twelve hours up till test time. Yeah. Solid and effort. Still fasting and fast all through the day today, all through all the testing phases, you know, from here over to like vitality wellness, through the blood work the whole bit, um, right until tomorrow morning. So just going for like a, a straight 30 hour fast after all this to be able to help uh, metabolically clean up the body and just get set up in. Cause Sunday is the big day, you know, like March 1st, uh, the carnivore diet starts for a month. And then after that, um, April 1st, we start the ketogenic diet. Uh, May 1st is when we go plant-based, um, and June is paleo, and July is hormone balancing. So, you know, we'll be doing this testing at the end of every month just to be able to see how all these different diets affect the body. And, you know, that's why we're doing, like, the VO2 max, the blood work, the endurance testing, the weight training, the whole bit, and just trying to keep it as consistent as possible and just see how the body reacts going through it all, including, like, the metabolic age and the biological, biological age. Absolutely. So. One, right. la one last note here. Uh, I got a chart for basal metabolic rate for effects of age and gender. Mm -hmm. 
you're at 1730 right around here probably 100 calories yeah. lower so yeah. your body's burning real efficient yeah good well done excellent well done i like that because i plug this thing with just a sick amount of calories every day so <laughs> i'm sure that uh some of my seven eight hundred calorie fat bomb meals and stuff right now that i'm eating are, are well over that so um but yeah thank you very much nick yeah anytime it's been a pleasure i'll see you next month all right peace out you guys we'll see you at vitality wellness